Uh, <clears throat> great win for St. Peter's. Uh, thought they really beat us in every facet of the game tonight. They did a great job. Kadir Welton just took it to us. We had no answers for him. Uh, I thought he was obviously the difference in the game and our inability to make a shot. Uh, so, give St. Peter's the credit. Good win for them. Steve, what is it about St. Peter's and what they do that makes them, has made them so formidable, especially over the last year and a half? I don't understand your question. But what, what about them that, that they do offensively and especially defensively makes them so formidable, especially in the tournament play approach? You mean, why are they second plate? Like, why are they having such a good year? What, what is it about them that, that's made them such I, I think their ability to shoot the basketball um, from the perimeter, something they, they haven't had before. Uh, Welton's always been a terrific inside presence. Um, I think, though, they can space shoot. Uh, and that's something they haven't been able to do. They can go four out, shoot it from four positions, and then it's very hard to double when he's inside because their ability to shoot. So I think that's the biggest difference with them. They've always been... Very fundamentally sound, very good defensively, always physical. Uh, but I think the biggest difference in the last year is their ability to shoot the basketball. 13 all run at, at the second half. What, went, what do you feel went wrong on your end that really separated the game? You know, I, I don't know what it is. I, I have to look at a ton of things. Um, but we're, we're having a really tough time making layups. Um, and that's what I just wanted to see. We were three for 14 on layups. Um, and that's something we got we to gotta fix because what's happened is, we're, you know, we're, we're playing hard. Ball doesn't go in. Little air comes out of the balloon. Ball doesn't go in again. Little air comes up out of the balloon. They hit a, th a shot. They hit a three. And, and you get a little deflated. And we got to learn, you know, capitalize on some easy opportunities we had. But give their defense credit for it. Um, they did a good job defending us and making us work for everything. Um, and, that, you know, at the end of the day, you got you to make some shots. And we didn't obviously do that in the second half. Steve, how good are they? Five of their six conference losses being like three points or less coming from the time. Are they a team that could win the tournament? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And that's, that's John. You know, John does a great job. He's going to dictate tempo. Um, he's going to control tempo. They're going to play their way. Um, they remind me of different, but the, the, uh, Virginia, you know, where a, a eight point, they have an eight-point lead on you. It's, it's like a 15-point lead because they're so methodical with how they guard, how they defend, how they execute. And then the one thing you can't do is give them live ball turnovers. And I thought we gave them two or three of those in the second half. You know, the first half, I, even though it was only a one-point game, I didn't like the way we defended. We had six breakdowns. Um, and, and we've struggled with one-day prep. That's something we've really struggled with. You look at our um, Kenesha St. Peter's turnaround the first time. You look at our Monmouth Siena turnaround. Um, you look at Niagara Kenesha's the one day and then Kenesha's on the back end. And you look at today, we've struggled with one-day prep. And, and that's something that Attention to detail, you, we have to get. Um, and that's something we're just, we're not quite there yet. Steve, can you talk about the game plan that goes into, you talked about Welton and his performance. Can you talk about what kind of game plan goes into that, playing against a dominant player like him? And then, like you mentioned, offensively, the opportunities it creates off of him when they move into the paint, and then the opportunities in the four guards on the outside. Yeah, you know, it, 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 you, you have to make some decisions. Look, what are you going to do with Welton in the post? You're going to double and you play straight up. So we want to come out playing straight up give what we call shrink it and dig down. So when it went in, get all our guards in his lap, give him different looks, not knowing where, where it was coming from. And even though he had a good first half, I think he had eight at halftime, we thought two of the baskets, he got two of the four, he worked pretty hard for us, so we were okay with that. Um, two of their threes in the first half were us on breakdowns. We didn't play a ball screen right, which we were supposed to veer, which we didn't do that, and then we didn't switch properly on the other one. So those are two breakdowns on us. But I like the way we're defending, we just had breakdowns. Then in the second half, they moved him a little bit and got him more in the front facing, and our bigs did a poor job of letting him get to his strong hand. We wanted to keep him going to his left and then finish over his right shoulder. Statistically, he's going over his left shoulder 80% of the time. So you don't want to let him get back to that. We did a poor job of keeping him over the left shoulder and we allowed him to get back to it. We wanted to keep him on his right shoulder. So some breakdowns in that area. Um, you know, and again, you, you can go double him, absolutely, and I know some teams have done that and then you're kind of living and dying by the three. Um, I'm, I, I'd rather take away the three. We didn't do a great job of that tonight. We let you know, Griffin get going, and he had a uh, five for six from the three-point line. Just can't do that. Coach, uh, you had the advantage tonight on the offensive glass, uh, and it wasn't big, but it helped you uh, take more field goal attempts than St. Peter's. Is that is anything a, a bright spot in tonight's game? No, no. because percentage-wise, when you actually when you shoot 29% to their 55, they actually percentage-wise, I bet, had more offensive rebounds per field goal makes. So it's it's a little, 
it's a little um, inaccurate in the sense of where we only had 16 field goals and 16 offensive rebounds. They had 29 field goals on and nine offensive rebounds. So, you know, ratio wise, I bet they probably, you know, I didn't do the math real quick. I'm not that good with math, but um, I, I bet per percentage wise, they probably, have, you know, were better. But thanks for trying to find a positive. I appreciate it. Anything else, guys? Thank you. Thanks, guys.